my grandma had cataracts will i get it too yes if you make it to where grandma was when she had cataracts you probably you will have cataracts too the only way you won't have it is if you don't make it to um grandma's age so channel I'm Dr. Loretta Justin and I'm your optometry diva. I'm passionate about healthy eyes and vision for life. On this channel you'll find integrative eye care tips, empowering insight, and strategies to help you envision and create the life of your dreams. Before anything else don't forget to show me some love by subscribing to this channel today. Right now. Do it right now. Just click subscribe right now. All right, ready to step into your power today? Let's dive in into today's topic. In this episode, we're going to break down the scary threat of cataract blindness. We're going to talk about the Cadillacs, like some of my patients call it, and see how that can create blindness for some people. But before I talk to you about cataracts and how that works and what we can do about it, let's see what's going on out on social media, what people are saying about cataracts and what are some of the advices that are out there about how to treat it and what to do. So I'm gonna watch a, a video here and see what's going on. You have cataracts in your eyes, you have cataracts and it is stopping you. This now, video talks about natural means oil. of curing is one of cataracts. The used to treat cataracts. This is a gentleman with an African accent who's talking about before, it. So you have to pay attention. Let me show you how you do it so that you don't do otherwise. Let's say this is castor oil, but this is not castor oil. He's talking and about you know castor oil. You go to the market and get castor it. oil. See where you will rub it. Let me say you put it in rubbing the Indiana, castor oil. Indiana. Rub it here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's He's rubbing it on his eyelid. Do eyes. Rub it well. Um, both eyelids. First of all, we don't even know if he washed his hands. He is, uh, this is supposedly, uh, a, a cure, a natural way to cure cataracts. inside your mouth. Don't put it inside your eyes. And then he wiped his eye with, and go and sleep. with a dirty towel. Okay, this, I don't think we need to go any further because, um, uh, no, um, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. All right, before I, I talk about all that's wrong with this video, let's see, there's another one that I have as well. And uh, let's watch this one. Some people uh, say it's safe to put Is it safe to put castor oil, oil in the eye? It considered safe, and that is the castor oil. Castor, castor oil, oil has been used for thousands of years. Of years. That is true. It has been used for so you can put it in different types as a remedy for different easy, things. Because it's so thick. Or you can rub it over the eye. I really? just don't understand how these things. just massage it around the eye. It's rubbing whatever. it over the just eyelid don't put it in will the cause. Eye you're um, about to go driving because. <laughs> You'll be a little bit blurry. We'll make the cataract go away. You can put it on twice a day. Who is but this I've lady? Had many people get back to me and have told me that the cataracts have begun to dissolve. So that's the good news. Okay. I have cataracts. One and is worse than the other. She I gets don't a question do from, and I guess, I somebody in the to audience. Presentations regarding using was talking castor about oil for cataracts. Is so you put the, the use of castor oil still good for cataracts? Go and the other was to put it on your eyelid and let it kind of ooze down into your eye. I just wanted to know if both are still recommended. No. no. She wanted to know if it's still recommended to use castor oil for cataracts. Okay, so first, um, let, let's talk about what cataracts are. There's another video as well that talks about cataracts. It actually shows you what it looks like inside the eye and you can see the pupil is dilated and there's this really hazy kind of whitish area in the center, whereas the other eye is completely dark in the center where the pupil is, right? So that eye in the left eye does not have cataract, but the right eye does have a really, really advanced cataract where this, this person can't see very well with it. So if you think about it, the cataract is happening 
inside the eyeball, not on the surface of the eye. So that is my first issue with the castor oil. So cataracts happen in a structure in the eye called the lens. So if you're looking at my eye, you will see the black circle. Well, behind that black circle, the black circle is called the iris. Inside that black circle, there's an actual black hole called the pupil. It's like the window to your eyes. And when you get your pupil dilated, that's the part that gets bigger. But behind the iris, the lens in the eye sits. The lens inside your eyes do multiple things for you. One of the things it does from the day you were born, it absorbs 100% of the UV light that hits your eye. Your retina, which is the back, back side of the eye, kind of the film for the eye, cannot handle UV light. It would literally burn it. So the lens absorbs 100% of it. That's one of the first function of the lens. It also helps you read things close up. Like if you look at something here, your lens help you do something we call accommodate for that distance so you can see. So if you find yourself doing this because your arms are not long enough, it means your lens is not working as well as it used to. It just means you're well, getting old. That's what's happening. So the lens help us to read close up. It also help us focus at distance as well. So there's quite a few things the lens do, but primarily what it does is, is protect our eyes from UV light and help us accommodate. Now it does this from the day we are born. So you can imagine the more birthdays you have, the more challenging or the more the lens will change over time. So that's what cataracts happen and it's basically the aging of the eye. People ask me all the time, my grandma had cataracts, will I get it too? Yes, if you make it to where grandma was when she had cataracts, you probably you will have cataracts too. The only way you won't have it is if you don't make it to um, grandma's age. So honestly, we all should want to have cataracts. It just means we have a very, very long, long life. So the lens gets hazy as you get older. What are some of the symptoms? Blurred vision. You can have, one of the biggest symptoms you have is halos or things look really dim. It's like looking through a frosty window. Things just really are not that clear. And the more dense the cataract, the more blurry things are. And sometimes because cataracts are so slow in developing, you may not notice you have a cataract unless you get an eye exam. And if it's early in the cataract development, we would let you know, like I would tell my patients, you have cataracts that are developing, but you still can see pretty well. You don't need to have surgery at this particular time. So they would ask me that first question that asked me all the time is, well, if, if it's just starting, that means it's gonna get worse. What do I, what, what's the treatment for this? I'm like, ultimately, if cataracts get bad, you have to have surgery, is what I tell everybody. Then they go, well, can I do surgery now? And I'm like, well, I mean, you could, but it's not necessary to do it now. And then they ask me the next question, what can I do to get rid of it or to stop it? So I'll tell them, number one, you can't get rid of it. However, you can slow down the progression of cataracts just the same way you want to slow down the aging process of the body. So from an integrative perspective, which is what I practice in my office, I would tell my patients some of the basic things they can do in order to prevent or slow down rather the aging process of their eyes, which is the development of cataract. First thing you want to do is maintain a healthy diet. That's important. The food you eat make a huge difference. You want to focus on antioxidant. What causes us to get older is the oxidation process. Just like you put an apple out and it starts to get brown that's, and shrivel, that's what happens to us. So antioxidants help slow down the aging process. Vitamin C, E, beta carotene, lutein, all can help slow down the oxidative process. There is a series of supplements that I could talk about. We'll do a video about that. What are some of the supplements that you can take? But you wanna eat green leafy vegetables. Yes, carrots, you can eat that. Orange, not for the reason you're thinking, but it is an antioxidant. You can eat carrots and oranges and berries. 
Another thing you want to do after maintaining a healthy diet is maintaining a healthy lifestyle. One of the things that causes us to age more than anything is stress. So reducing your level of stress, getting a good night's sleep, creating a life that you love, all of those things can help slow down the aging process. And guess what? Slow down the progression of cataracts in your eyes. The other two things you want to do is one, you want to reduce the exposure to UV light as much as possible. Remember I told you that the cataracts, that the lens rather protect your eyes from UV light. So if you can help your lens, you will slow down the progression of cataracts. Wearing sunglasses that has UVA, UVB protection, my favorite, polarized sunglasses, helps a lot in reducing the exposure to UV light so your lens works less. It doesn't have to work as hard. And finally, you wanna get regular eye exams. So an eye doctor can look at you and see where you are and see uh, if you need to have surgery or if we need to monitor and make other recommendations for you. So, can cataract cause blindness? Yes, but it's very, very unlikely, especially in developing countries because we have so many ways of getting rid of it. It's, if it's really bad, like certain diseases can cause cataracts to progress, like diabetes can make it grow really fast, literally almost overnight. Some other autoimmune diseases can cause that as well. Trauma can cause that as well. Uh, trip, fishing trip without sunglasses can cause that. I've seen that happen. So those things, if it happens and it grows really fast, it can cause you not to see, but the surgery is so safe and is done so well and so often that most people don't go blind anymore from cataracts. So remember, while cataracts can be a nuisance, they are easily treated. There are things you can do to help protect yourself or rather slow down the aging process of your eyes and your body. And if things get bad, we can always take it out and do surgery and restore your vision. So any questions you have, see an eye doctor and talk to them about your particular situations to see what is exactly the best thing to do. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with someone you think might want to know about cataracts. And don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button so you know when I have new videos that talk about integrative eye care insights or empowering insight to help you succeed in your life. Remember, you have the power to change your life. My job is to help you see it clearly so you can make it happen. Until next time, keep shining and keep thriving, divas.